Welcome to the Tesla Semi Truck event. I hope you like what you see. I'm going to tell you about everything that this, this truck can do, starting with performance. So we have a, an acronym we came up with um, that uh, I think really, really describes the performance well. The Tesla Semi will go zero to 60 in five seconds. Now at 80,000 pounds max gross vehicle weight, so that's the most amount of weight you can carry on a US highway. This is the real time acceleration of a Tesla Semi. That, oh, on the left, the thing that looks like it's not moving is a diesel truck. The best diesel trucks can only do 45 miles an hour up a 5% grade. Tesla Semi can do 65 miles an hour up a 5% grade. Um, now, one of the biggest questions we've been asked about uh, electric trucks is, well, how far can they go? Because, well, let's find out. So, 500 mile range. And by the way, it's 500 miles at maximum weight at highway speed. We also have uh, four independent uh, motors. On, so there's a, there's a motor on each of the rear wheels and an independent front, front suspension, so it's incredibly comfortable to, to drive this truck. What about you know, fueling today? If you're fueling a diesel truck, you've got fumes, spills, toxic environment, prices change all the time. Um, and what a lot of people don't realize is, is it actually it takes up to 15 minutes or more to actually fill a, a, a truck. You have to sit there for 15 minutes while the, the tank gets full. As compared to charging a, a, a Tesla truck, you can charge at your origin or destination. So while, while you're unloading your cargo, you can charge. Um, every truck we sell will have enhanced autopilot as standard. Okay. That the truck will automatically break. <laughs> automatically break. Yeah, you can read it too. Um, it'll automatically brake, but uh, it will actually automatically lane keep as well. So even if even if uh, even if you're in the truck and you have a medical emergency, the truck will stay in lane and gradually come to a halt and put on the emergencies. If it doesn't hear a response from you, it will actually call emergency services and get an ambulance. It, it's going to take care of you. It's going to take care of other cars. It's going to take care of pedestrians. This is a massive increase in safety. With that central position, you're in a very safe position. Uh, even if you were to collide with, with, with a, another semi, uh, you have a low center of gravity that gives you really good handling. It means the probability of a rollover is massively reduced because the battery pack is in the floor pan and, uh, and, and rollover risk is, is, is dramatically reduced. Um, and perhaps most importantly, um, jackknifing is, is uh, usually the worst nightmare of a, of a trucker. Uh, how do you stop your, your vehicle from, from jackknifing if you're in, in difficult conditions? The truck will automatically stop jackknifing because it's got independent motors on each wheel and it'll, it'll dynamically adjust the torque on each wheel so that jack, jackknifing is impossible. Reliability is incredibly important. We're putting massive attention into making this tr truck incredibly reliable. And that's why we are guaranteeing that this truck will not break down for a million miles. Then it has, you know, a few other benefits as well. Uh, brakes, brakes are a big deal for trucks. You got to stop 80,000 pounds. It's not easy. That's a lot of brake. That's a lot of brake wear. But because the, with, with an electric motor, you can turn the brakes into generators. So every time you brake, that kinetic energy of braking goes right straight back into the battery pack instead of heat, instead of wearing down a brake pad. So brake pads basically last forever. The, the, you never need to replace brake pads ever, ever. And this is the feature I like best, thermonuclear explosion proof glass. <laughs> so standard glass, now, now why is this important? Because, uh, uh, see, look, nothing. Um, survived a nuclear explosion, that's incredible. The reason this is important is because uh, tr truck windshields are huge and they crack about once a year. Um, and if the truck windshield is cracked, you're not allowed to drive. So it actually, it's truck off-road if you have a cracked, cracked windshield. 
and that, and that means lost revenue, disappointed customers, it's a terrible, it's a terrible day, and you, if you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, it can take ages to get a, to get a new windshield. So actually this, 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 detail, uh, this detail matters a lot uh, to, to someone who really is, is, understands trucking. We have the Tesla app that gives you full information about your truck. This is a sort of normal, it's like we take it for granted uh, with the, if you've got a Model S or Model X or something like that, but this is not normal actually for trucks. You have full access to all your truck information, you've got remote diagnostics, you can, uh, you can see uh, what's going on, preventative maintenance. The truck will actually anticipate when it needs, to be ma when it needs maintenance and, and inform you ahead of time. You're probably wondering how much is this going to cost because Tesla stuff is expensive. Um, when you take everything into account, you take the least cost, the insurance cost, maintenance, all of the factors, the, the fully accounted for true cost of trucking, a diesel truck will be 20% more expensive than a, than a Tesla Semi per mile. So. I want to be clear, this is from day one. It, from day one, having a Tesla Semi will beat a diesel truck on economics, day one. And this is, at, this is a worst case scenario. So it gets better than this. This is, the, this, is the, this is the worst case scenario comparison. This is taking max vehicle growth. It's, it's going at 60 miles an hour, um, and it's assuming $250 ga gasoline price. We're guaranteeing a seven cent kilowatt wholesale price. Production begins 2019. So if you order now, get the car, the truck in two years. All right. Um, So it turns out there was some cargo in the truck. There's some cargo in the truck. Uh, we thought we'd bring it out. People have asked us for a long time, when are you going to make a new Roadster? We are making it now. Yeah! <laughs> the new Tesla Roadster will be the fastest car, production car ever made, period. Yeah! It'll, be, it'll do the quarter mile in 8.9 seconds. I wouldn't say what the actual top speed is, but it's above 250 miles an hour. So this is gonna have a 200 kilowatt hour battery pack. 600, six, this is, these numbers sound nutty, but they're real. Um, 600, 620 mile range, that's a, a thousand kilometer range. This will be the first time an electric vehicle breaks a thousand kilometers. A production electric vehicle will travel more than a thousand kilometers in a single charge at highway speed. This thing will have three motors, so it's all-wheel drive, one motor in the front, two on, two on the rear. We'll be able to do torque steering. As I said, 200 km hour, kilowatt hour battery pack, 10,000 newton meters of torque. If you know what that means, it's just stupid. <laughs> um, it's also a four-seater. Yeah. So it's a two plus two, two plus two. Okay, you can't put giant people in the, in the rear seat. Tesla CEO Elon Musk just unveiled the company's first electric pickup truck, also known as Cybertruck, at an event in Los Angeles, California. The truck will come in three versions with 250 miles, 300 miles, and 500 miles of range, respectively. And it will start at $39,900, Musk said. The truck won't be rolling off the assembly line until late 2021, but pre-orders can be made at tesla.com slash cybertruck. All clips may not match exactly with the real incident. Script has taken from The Verge. We create videos, only for educational purpose. Always a showman, Musk put the truck through its paces in an effort to demonstrate its ruggedness. He had Franz von Holzhausen, Tesla's chief of design, hit the door of the truck with a sledgehammer several times, claimed it was practically bulletproof, and showed the truck winning a tug-of-war with a Ford F-150 and a drag race with a Porsche 911. However, when he tried to show how shatterproof the glass was, things went awry. A metal ball thrown by Holzhausen shattered both the truck's windows. We'll fix it in post, a sheepish Musk quipped. 
Musk has spent the better part of a decade poking at the idea of a Tesla pickup truck. He tweeted in 2012 that he, W, old love to make a Tesla supertruck, with crazy torque, and dynamic air suspension. By 2013, he told Business Insider that the company was actually planning to make one. The pickup was even featured in his second, Master Plan, for Tesla, which he published in 2016. Musk continued to toy with the idea in public, saying in April 2017 that a reveal event would happen in 18 to 24 months. In 2018 he said the truck had taken on a futuristic-like cyberpunk, Blade Runner, design, and that he didn't even care much if people didn't like it. He's since said the pickup truck is his favorite project out of all the ones Tesla's working on. While the pickup truck has obviously been a pet project for Musk, it could also be a great opportunity for Tesla's business. Not only are pickup sales on the rise in the US, but trucks command high average selling prices and high profit margins. Pickup truck buyers spend a lot on their trucks, says Tyson Jomini, vice president of data and analytics consulting at JD Power. A $50,000 pickup truck is a very common occurrence now. People are willing to spend on this segment to haul their toys, to support a lifestyle. Tesla's business could arguably use the bump. While the squeaked out a $143 million profit this past quarter, it only did so after including $164 million worth of regulatory credits and money that it's banked from customers who've paid for the yet-to-be-released, full self-driving, version of Autopilot. This despite the fact that the Model 3's profit margin continues to inch higher, and the car becomes increasingly popular around the world. That said, a lot will happen between now and when the truck starts shipping. Not only will Tesla soon start producing Model 3s in China for the Chinese market, making it less of a burden to sell cars there, the company is also releasing the Model Y crossover at the end of 2020. One of the only segments rivaling the growth of pickup trucks over the last few years is the SUV segment, and especially the small SUV segment. If things go according to plan for Tesla, the company's business will already be in better shape by the time the Cybertruck ships, meaning whatever profit it can reap from the pickup will be gravy. Tesla has led the charge into long-range electric vehicles, and there's currently no mass-market electric pickup truck available for sale. But the landscape will change by the time the truck ships. Ford has an all-electric F-150 on the way, General Motors confirmed it will put an electric pickup on the market in 2021, and EV startup Rivian, which is now backed by both Ford and Amazon, is scheduled to release its electric pickup in late 2020. Depending on how things shake out with all of these plans, Tesla could wind up releasing the Cybertruck into a market that's already somewhat established, which would be an unfamiliar position for the company. If you like our video, please subscribe our channel.